Hey guys, this is Phil, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about batteries. Unless you run a gas or spring-powered airsoft gun, you will need to have at least one battery and a way to charge it. Between material, form factor, and capacity, there's a huge variety of batteries available out there for airsoft players, and it can be sometimes hard to know what to pick, especially if you're a new player. So what we're going to do today is go over the basics of using and charging your airsoft batteries, as well as some tips and tricks that will help you select the right battery for your airsoft kit. Before we jump in, we'd like to thank our sponsor Tenergy for making this video possible. Tenergy is an industry leader in power solutions, and they make rechargeable and non-rechargeable batteries, along with chargers for practically everything, and the Stormriders have actually been using their airsoft battery pack for years. We'll talk more about Tenergy at the end of this video, but for now, let's get to it. First off, let's go over two basic concepts about how batteries actually work. Voltage and milliamp hour rating, or MA rating. This might sound a little technical, but it will be very important knowledge before we look at different types of batteries. The voltage of your battery represents the rate at which power actually comes out of your battery. In other words, it's kind of like your battery's horsepower. At a very basic level, an 8.4 volt battery will run a motor at a certain speed, a 9.6 volt battery will run that same motor a little bit faster, and a 7.2 volt battery will run it a little slower. The voltage of your battery can certainly affect the rate of fire of your gun, but it's a common misconception that a higher voltage battery will actually increase the power of your gun. It will simply make your motor run faster. The MA rating of your battery represents how much power is actually stored in the battery. Generally speaking, the higher the MA rating, the longer the battery will last, but the larger the battery will be. So when you're choosing a battery, you should select a battery that has the highest MA rating possible that will still fit inside your gun. So as a basic overview, every time you pull the trigger, the motor will attempt to draw some power from the battery. The voltage will determine how quickly that power is delivered to the motor, thus causing it to respond faster or slower, and the MA rating will determine how many times you can do this on a single charge. Now let's discuss the chemical makeup of your battery. What your battery is actually made of can affect its performance, how fast it charges, and even its shape or size. In Airsoft, there are two common types of batteries that Airsofters use. Nickel metal hydride, commonly referred to as NIM, and lithium polymer, commonly known as LiPo. You can also sometimes find nickel cadmium and lithium ion batteries designed for Airsoft uses, but they're not very common, so we won't be addressing them today. Unless you have a very specific reason to be using those types of batteries, we recommend that airsofters stick with NIM and LiPo batteries. NIM batteries commonly come in 8.4 and 9.6 volt variants and tend to be quite forgiving. They're very safe and easy to charge without having to worry about a memory effect or excess heat. Most airsoft guns are capable of using a NIM battery right out of the box, which makes them a great option for players who are just starting out. In fact, many beginner airsoft gun packages actually come with a NIM battery. On the flip side, they tend to take longer to charge, and they don't provide options for higher voltages, which means they might be unsuitable for upgraded gearboxes. LiPo batteries commonly come in 7.4 and 11.1 volt variants, and are arguably the most popular type of battery amongst Airsoft players right now. They tend to be lighter than NIM batteries, and their higher discharge current gives a noticeable increase to rate of fire. However, they do require a bit more care to use safely compared to NIM batteries. Almost any stock AEG will be able to run a 7.4 volt LiPo, but an 11.1 volt LiPo will greatly increase the stress inside your gearbox, so upgraded internal components are going to be essential if you plan on using one. At the bare minimum, you should be using a LiPo low voltage alarm or some type of MOSFET with a low voltage cutoff, and we'll explain why a little bit later. One common thing you might hear about LiPo batteries is that they can catch fire or explode. And while this is possible, the reality is that it is extremely unlikely to occur if your LiPo is handled properly. I've been using LiPo batteries for over 10 years and I have never had any type of catastrophic failure. If you follow some easy steps, you'll be able to make sure you have no issues with your LiPos. First, you will want to ensure you don't over-discharge your LiPo battery. 
The easiest way to do this is to use some sort of low voltage alarm or a MOSFET cutoff when the battery reaches a certain threshold that prevents you from using the battery any further. Sure, you could listen for a noticeable decrease in your rate of fire and then stop using your LiPo, but we highly recommend you use an alarm or a MOSFET cutoff instead. Second, make sure your LiPo pack is in good physical condition. Sometimes LiPo packs can become inflated or puffy, and this is very noticeable when it happens. You should never use a puffy LiPo, and it needs to be disposed of properly, not by just throwing it in the garbage. Additionally, it's very important not to puncture or tear your battery pack in any way, as this can also cause a catastrophic failure. In short, check your LiPo battery pack and make sure it's in good shape, otherwise discard it properly and don't use it. So which should you pick? Well, if you're a new player starting out or you're using a stock airsoft gun, we highly recommend you stick with a NIM battery. Go find a 9.6 volt NIM with the highest mile rating that will fit in your gun and use that. That will give you the best performance until such a time that you're ready to move on with a LiPo. That said, if you're ready to take the precautions we've outlined earlier, then we highly recommend you use a LiPo battery. An 11.1 volt battery will be great in any upgraded airsoft gun. One final note about batteries is the type of connectors that they use. Some batteries use Tamiya or Mini Tamiya connectors, while others use Deans or T-type connectors. And we're not gonna go into the details of which connectors are better than the others. However, it's important to be aware when buying a battery that you buy a battery that uses the same type of connector that you'll find in your gun. Now that you've selected your battery, you're gonna need some way to charge it. Many beginner airsoft kits come with some sort of wall charger for your battery, but we recommend moving to a smart charger as soon as possible. Smart chargers are an essential piece of equipment when dealing with batteries, especially if you plan on using a LiPo battery. Smart chargers actually have a bunch of features that address a lot of the concerns that we have with LiPo batteries. A smart charger, like the new Tenergy T180 Balance Charger, for example, will give you complete control over how much charge you're putting into your battery pack, ensure you're charging it at a safe rate, and will automatically terminate the charge once your battery pack reaches a certain voltage. It can also enable you to safely discharge your LiPo batteries to a certain voltage so that you can store them safely. Smart chargers are available at a variety of different price points, but they are absolutely a worthwhile investment because they will help you get the most life out of your batteries. When it comes to batteries and chargers, there are a lot of brands out there and it can sometimes be tough to know what to pick. One brand that we keep coming back to is Tenergy. Now, even though Tenergy did help us make this video, the Stormriders have actually been using their products for years and we would happily recommend them regardless. Their LiPo battery packs are extremely consistent and we're going to put a link to their T180 balance charger in the description below. The T180 balance charger has a lot of great features that make it user friendly. It has a touchscreen display and can provide a lot of information, including balancing information for each individual cell and a graphical charging curve. It also comes packaged with plugs to charge just about any kind of battery. It has a built-in fan to make sure it doesn't overheat, and thanks to its 10 amp charging output, it can charge batteries up to twice as fast. Additionally, it can be run off a car battery during field games where an AC outlet might not be available. It comes with several built-in safety protections against overvoltage, short circuit, and even allows you to customize your charging time cutoffs. Tenergy is also giving our subscribers $10 off their T180 charger if you use our promo code STORMRIDERS10 at checkout. There's a lot more information available on the internet about batteries, especially where LiPos are concerned, and you can really get into the nitty gritty of the science behind it. But that being said, following these tips will be a great start for most Airsoft players. We hope you found this video helpful. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe, and thank you for watching.